In a previous video, we covered the rules of health savings accounts. We looked at how to file taxes with your HSA tax forms on your actual tax return. Now today, we're finally gonna look at how HSAs work as an investment vehicle and how you can build up your investment account within your health savings account to pay for medical expenses or eventually use those funds to help fuel your retirement. A really cool part about the HSA that you might not know is that once you turn age 65, you can no longer participate within a health savings account. So what happens to all those funds? Here's what's so awesome. The money that was in your HSA then gets transferred to a traditional IRA that you can now use as part of your retirement assets. And you can withdraw and distribute money from this account now because it's within an IRA without facing any penalties. Yes, you might have to pay some taxes on that money when you withdraw it, but you're no longer subject to any early withdrawal penalties. Therefore, not only is this account great for helping you save for medical expenses, but it's a wonderful way to build additional retirement assets for yourself and your family. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike, the CPA. Welcome to Money and Life TV, where we teach finances, investing, and taxes. Now, if those are topics that sound interesting to you, you can follow our weekly videos by subscribing, by hitting that red subscribe button below. It would mean a lot to me if you like these videos and engage in the comment section as well. I get a lot of questions from viewers like yourself asking how taxes work when you're investing in an HSA. Like what happens if you have an investment and you sell it off at a profit? What happens if your HSA account is throwing off dividends? How does that impact you tax wise? I also get questions about where do you go to actually open an account that you can invest in within an HSA? because not all HSA accounts can do it. And so towards the end of this video, I'll show you why I signed up with Fidelity to in start investing within an HSA. And I'll just walk you briefly through where you would go to do that. And it's really easy, guys. I promise you it's super easy. It's just a few steps and then you can get started. To help you better understand how taxes work and investing works within an HSA account, the first thing I think you should know is how the account itself works. Mechanically speaking, when using an HSA, the first thing we do is we have to establish the account itself. We go online, we fill out all their tedious paperwork, blah, 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 the part we just despise, right? And then after that, we contribute money to that account. There's different ways to do that. You can do direct deposits once your banking link is established with your health savings account from your normal checking account. You can write a check to them by mailing it in. You can wire funds to the account. So there's all different ways you can get money into your health savings account. Once you've got money in the health savings account, where that money goes is it goes to a core account or a cash account. You see, each HSA has a separate cash account within it. And just like a normal brokerage account would, just like an IRA would. And so that's where those funds initially go. They have to be able to go somewhere. So there's that's why there's always an open cash account within your health savings account. From there, when you go to buy an investment, the money is taken out of that core cash account to purchase shares of stocks, ETFs, bonds, whatever you wanna buy. When you go to sell an investment within your HSA, the funds are then, the proceeds are then transferred to your core cash account within your HSA. So you have all this activity, it's transpiring back and forth between your cash account within your HSA and whatever investment accounts you choose, I mean with, with whatever investment options you choose. So all this is happening within the health savings account itself. None of it is happening outside the HSA and that is what is important. Now, for all of you who are wondering about taxes, here we go. So let's just pretend your investments that you've chosen within your health savings account start throwing off dividends and you see this cash dividends coming into your health savings account. Good news for you is that is not taxable whatsoever. It's, it's just sitting in your health savings account and it's just helping you grow that balance. The same thing is true if you sell an investment within your health savings account at a gain. So let's say you sell something off, make a couple thousand dollars in capital gains not taxable to you as long as it's just sitting in your health savings account. And if you eventually use those gains or that cash to buy or to pay for medical expenses, it still comes out tax free. So what I'm telling you is, is this is wonderful because you can actually keep investing, get receive dividends, capital gains, capital gain distributions, 
all will be tax free as long as you're just keeping that money in your account. And if you do take the money out of the, the account, you're using it for qualified medical expenses. With that information, if you already have an HSA established that does not allow you to invest or only allows you to invest with very limited options, then I would encourage you to look into opening an account where you're not limited with investment options or where you can invest. In this hypothetical example, you can really see how powerful investing within your HSA can be. Now, just think if you're putting money in your HSA, but you're not investing it, well then you're, it's, your money's really not growing, right? But now imagine you start investing your money within your HSA, and if you're following these charts, you're investing it over, this is over a time span of 20 years, you're getting about a 7% annual rate of return, all of a sudden, you start to gain some substantial momentum within your account. You start to go from 40,000 even up to 131,000, depending upon how much money you can actually stick away in this each year. By the way, at the time I'm filming this video, the maximum contribution limit is right around $3,500 a year, give or take. What you're seeing on screen is actually from Fidelity's website and they try to really make this easy for you and they've broken down some of the most frequently asked questions they get around investing within an HSA. So if you have questions, likely you're going to find your answers here. Pause the video if you want to read this, but I just want to highlight if you read the top paragraph, what it mentions is that you can actually choose a variety of investments, but there are several investments you can choose from without fees. Now, it, now I'm not for certain on this, but it does sound like some investments will have fees and others won't. But either way, you have your investment options to choose from. And the ones without fees, I think I've seen them as a variety of different ETFs they offer. You can buy and sell as many different investments within your HSA as you want, but commissions and fees may apply depending upon what you're buying and selling. I realize you guys might have a lot of additional questions regarding health savings accounts with Fidelity or just questions in general, but on the Fidelity website, there's a portion of it that covers the health savings account frequently asked question. There's a lot of information and resources here for you guys to, to look over. I'll link this exact page for you so you can find this for yourself. Anything from like what is an HSA to what do you need to be eligible to contribute to it, it talks about specifically how Fidelity handles HSAs, if, what fees they have, if any. It talks about contributions. It talks about spending. So each one of these buttons, you can expand it and you can read up on this and you're gonna learn a lot of information very quickly. I really like how they lay this out. Once again, guys, I'm just sharing this with you. I'm not representing Fidelity whatsoever. I'm just simply sharing this with you. I'm not getting paid to do this. I am just want you to be aware of a, one of the most popular websites or one of the most popular platforms people use to open these health savings accounts specifically because they can invest through Fidelity. Many other HSA accounts providers do not allow you to do as much as in investing as Fidelity offers. Now you don't have to open an account with Fidelity, but that's just an example that I wanted to share with you. And growing your funds within your HSA, I think is really important for you guys because according to Fidelity, the average couple in retirement of, within 2020 will spend about $295,000 in medical expenses during the course of their retirement. Ouch, that's crazy, right? If unexpected medical expenses pop up, then all you would need to do is sell off some of your investments, transfer that cash out of your HSA to your checking account, and you should have those funds within a few days to pay your medical bills. If you already have a health savings account established, you should be able to roll those funds into a new health savings account that allows you to invest. In fact, that's what I plan to do with my old HSA now that I've just opened an account with Fidelity. All right, guys, I promised you I'd show you how to open an HSA with Fidelity or where to go to do that. So in Google, if you just search Fidelity HSA or Fidelity or HSA Fidelity, it's going to lead you right to it. So let me just put that in. These are the search results it's going to bring up for you. You're just going to hit open an HSA. You're going to click this and then the web page is going to generate. And let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that better. And then it's gonna say, are you already a Fidelity customer? Of course, you're gonna say no if you're not. And then you're just gonna enter your basic information, starting off with your name and then your email. From there, it's gonna ask you for your address information. It's gonna ask you for, for your income, like roughly how much you make from your job, things like that. Your social security number, you're gonna list your beneficiaries. All in all, I, I set this up last weekend. It took me like 10 or 15 minutes to go through all the screens. So it doesn't take that long. When you get to the end of it, 
you finally can open the account or once you have that activated this is what the screen looks like once your account is open now you can tell though so yeah, I did this on November 28th is what what you can see there but I have nothing funded in here yet. So I'm currently in the process of linking my checking account to this account so I can fund it before the end of the year because I want to max out my contributions give myself a tax deduction and then use that money to invest within this, in, a, in this account. But this is in a general sense of what it looks like. So once I have cash in here guys, then I can start buying investments and things like that, but just not there yet, but trying to hopefully get that set up by the start of next week. I haven't heard back from them yet, but hopefully my account is just about activated and that I can start contributing money to this. Well, that's the video today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this HSA series. If you haven't seen some of my other HSA videos, I'll make sure to link them in the description section below and also in the comment section of this video. So be sure to check those out. Leave your questions, comments below. I always love hearing from all of you. I hope you're all doing well out there. Like the video if you want to support my work, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe for upcoming weekly videos around finances, investing, and taxes. Most importantly though, take this information and use it to live your life on Caged. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.